G'day folks, today I've come fishing up at Lake William Hovel. It's a uh, less than glorious day, but it's still glorious in its own right. I'm bay fishing with worms from the main foreshore area, one of the main picnic areas, to see if I can pick up a trout or a redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right, now have a look at this. Lake William Hovel in its winter glory. quite gloomy up here today last time I fished up here I was up there on that that far bank over there now I did just go up there now the track is very very slippery because of the rain I got through okay in my four-wheel drive though there was no problems but it was very windy the wind sort of coming up the lake straight into the area that I wanted to fish which makes it hard to bait fish because your rods are bouncing around all over the shop and your slack lines going crazy and you can't see whether you're getting a bite so I've decided to come back down here to where everybody fishes, the main foreshore area. This is accessible by two wheel drive. It's a great little spot, but I knew I'd be sheltered from the wind here and also from the hills behind. So it's just a little bit more sheltered and I can sit in my car if the rain gets too heavy. All right, yeah, time to put line number one in. I'm using a Pat Noster rig with a fairly heavy sinker. I want the sinker to be able to get out. I prefer a running sinker rig in this type of spot or for trout in general. But the problem with the running sinker rig is if you cast it well out like I just have now, it can be very hard to keep in contact between the rod tip and the bait. Now it works really, really well as it did for me in my recent video up here on a, a calmish day, but today it's been quite windy. And at the moment, the wind is, it's not too bad, but it has been gusting. You can see by the fact that the water's still quite unsettled. And it can be very hard to fish a running sinker rig in the wind. I think the running sinker is the better of the rigs for this sort of fishing, for trout fishing, because the trout don't feel the weight of the sinker. But unfortunately at the moment it's just not a, uh, a great option due to the weather. So yeah, I'll start with a Pat Noster. If the weather settles a little bit and clears up, I might go to a running sinker. Right, yeah, rod number two, same thing. Pat Noster rig. This has actually got a slightly smaller sinker. Righty, and now both rods are in. I'm sitting in my car. It's time to play the waiting game. I like spots where I can sit in my car to watch my rods when it's raining. <laughs> the older I get, the more of a fair weather fisherman I seem to be turning into. I have to say, though, it's very, very nice just sitting here listening to the rain on the roof of the car. There's a lot of people in Australia at the moment that wish they could hear this sound. Is there a fish on there? Got him. <laughs> oh, dear. I just reeled in the slack. The line was a bit slack, so I thought I'll reel it in. I reckon it's a little trout. Just, if it's a redfin, it's bigger than the really tiny any ones that I've been catching. It's not jumping. Then again, as it gets closer, it's feeling smaller. <laughs> Might just be a tiny redfin. I oh, know. Here we go. What have we got? We've got a trout. A lovely brown trout. I might just go and... Uh, I might sit that there and hope that he doesn't swim off. I'm going to go and grab my phone so I can get a photo. Right, is he still there? Is he still there? I forgot to bring a landing net. All right, mister, what I'll do, I'll bring you down here to where I can wet my hands. All right. <laughs> They've been sitting there for about three quarters of an hour, these rods, and I hadn't had a bite. So I got out of the car and I went and I thought, just reel the slack in. Just the, must have just moved the bait a little bit. All right. Shit, that's cold on my knee. <laughs> right, here we go. A nice Lake William Hovel midwinter brown trout. That should make a good photo with that really foggy backdrop, I reckon. Okay. I don't even know whether I can get down into the water here, but I'm going to lay on my stomach on the wet ground in the rain.
Come on, take it. He's giving it a bit of a nibble. He's taking. He's, he's playing with it. Take it. Give it a good hard bite. Come on. Take it properly. He's still playing with it. Missed him. Bugger. What the hell? Something grabbed it on the way in. I missed the fish. I missed the fish and it had nothing on it and all of a sudden there's a weight. This trout, this weeny little brown trout, has just hit my worms as I was reeling them in, almost like a lure. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's amazing. I went to hook him and I missed him. As I was reeling it in, he must have chased it and said, shit, where's my lunch going? And he went and he grabbed it. <laughs> How cool is that? That is amazing. Well, mate, you're not very bright. I cannot break that. Whoops, ah, there he goes. Off he goes. <laughs> I was going to hold him up and show you, but he had other ideas. Well, the wind has died down a bit for now. There's still a... Uh, Still a bit of rain around, but the wind's died right off, which is good. So beautiful up here. I actually saw a, uh, a Samba deer on the way up. I just happened to look in a gully and I saw it bedded down. Just sitting down in the grass under a tree out of the rain. So I took a photo of it. It's funny, it's got... Uh... It got really, really dark, and I thought, oh, it's going to bucket down. And then it lightened right up, it got quite light, like it is now, and now it started to rain quite heavily. Here we go. He's back, and this time I'm waiting for him. Here we go. I got him. <laughs> That's a little trout, I think. Well, it's got a bit of a pull in him. Either that or he's wrapped around a bit of weed. He didn't feel very heavy. Now he does, now he doesn't. I think he must have been wrapped around a weed. It's still there. It's only a little trout, I reckon. Yep, there it is. A lovely little brown. I'll go down here. This is like the landing spot where you land fish. <laughs> it's only because I like to wet my hand before I hold them. And it's a bit lower to the water down here. Alright. Give me, buddy. Ugh. Well, you sent me on a bit of a goose chase. Lovely little brown trout. I want to try the underwater release thing again, but I've got rather wet before. I'll try it. Awesome, there's three on the board. Oh shit. Got him. <laughs> I just happened to be filming the end of my rod with my telephoto lens on my other camera when I got this bite. <laughs> Trying to keep it up high so it doesn't tangle with this other rod. 
another trout. Oh, there he goes, he got off. Another little brown trout of around the 25 to 26 centimetre mark. I've got a good one. I wasn't even actually getting a bite. I had a few nibbles and they didn't hook up, so I thought I'll reel it in and cast it out again just as I reeled it in and fish grabbed it. I am on fire today. I wasn't even, I was getting nibbles. And I'd reel it in and I'd nibble and I'd reel it in just to keep the bait moving. Then I thought, oh, it's coming far enough, I'll reel it in and uh, cast it out. And I reeled it in and a fish grabbed it the moment I picked it up. Another lovely little brown trout. But good news for you, mate. You're going back in the drink. Right here, lovely trout. See you later, buddy. You can see it swimming off out there. I'm having a blast. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Something's pulling it, but just won't take it. Got him. <laughs> Gee whiz, now this is small. Have I caught my first redfin of the day? It's not putting out much of a fight. No, I reckon it's a trout. It's just, if it's a redfin, it's a bit bigger and Law of averages says they're not bigger. <laughs> I can't believe how many bites I'm getting. I certainly made the right decision by coming to Lake William Hovel today. Wow. The trout are just going nuts. Another nice, nice brownie. You know, I came up here with Holly. I came up here a couple of weeks ago and I caught nine fish made up of trout and redfin. I then came up a week later with Holly and I promised her the world and we sat here and didn't get a bite <laughs> and now today I've come back up without her and the fish are just going crazy again no redfin to be seen though, they're all trout I've actually lost count of how many trout I've caught now I think this is six or seven or something all I know is I'm having a lot of fun catching them See ya, mate. Did you hear that? That was a Samba deer honking. I've just stopped here to get a bit of video of the river and I've been honked by a Samba deer over there somewhere that's really cool <laughs> he honked twice but the first time he honked I wasn't filming and I jumped so high I almost landed in the river <laughs> frightened the crap out of me 